My wife was diagnosed with terminal breast cancer when she was 38. My children were one and four at the time of her diagnosis. And she had a, a really terrible clinical course with a lot of toxicities from the drugs that she took. And I really just responded to that by saying, you know, we, we need to do better. So I, I, if you like, dedicated my, uh, my research career to my wife. I was uh, 32, fit and healthy, uh, never smoked a day in my life. And being diagnosed with stage four lung cancer was, um, was a massive shock. My CT scan that I had showed that I had a three and a half inch tumour in my lower right lobe, in my right lung. Uh, my cancer was inoperable. So before I um, got, had my cancer diagnosis, we found out four days before that my wife was pregnant with our first child. So it actually turned out to be probably a bit of a, a really blessing in disguise because it allowed us to focus on something that was really positive while we were eventually we were going through probably the worst news that um, you can ever receive. The positive in Ryan's case is that the advances in drug therapy that have been achieved in the last decade or so are enabling him to carry on his life. It's not that long ago that all we really had to offer was chemotherapy. And what we're really trying to do is to learn how to use targeted therapies uh, to get maximal benefit, highest sort of chance of efficacy and the lowest chance of toxicity. We didn't have to go on to, to chemo at that point in time. Uh, it was a massive relief. When we started the targeted therapy, I found that uh, my breathing improved within a couple of days. Uh, and then by five months later, I went back in, I had another CT scan and showed that the cancer had reduced by over 90%. So it was, uh, the targeted therapy was, uh, was really the, the key element that gave us a significant amount of time. Now that's such a precious thing. Funding from the Cancer Council is absolutely critical to everything that we do. For good cancer research or for progress in cancer research, you need to achieve momentum. And momentum takes a continuity of funding. I don't know how we would actually achieve what we do without funding from Cancer Council. Every minute, every hour, every day, I'm working to try and optimise targeted therapies for cancer patients in order to achieve better outcomes for people affected by this insidious disease.